Hey, hey, I'm back. I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, y'all. What's up, y'all? You know, I know y'all ain't see me about a week and a half because every Sunday your girl has something sweet on the table, whether it's for the neighbors or whether it's for work. But y'all, see the candle? Scrubbery pound cake. That's our inspiration. I make this a lot. It is very infamous, and I want y'all to pay attention. Remember, the written recipe is always down at the bottom. This goes relatively fast, baby. You cannot mess it up. Let's get into the food. Like that. Yeah. Right. Why you think you keep my nine rolling on and green lips? Duncan Hines, of course. Remember when y'all making these on the gram? Go ahead and shout me out and tag Duncan Hines because I just feel like they need to be sponsoring me now. You know, just go ahead and get your girl right. That's some vanilla bean paste, of course. Scrubberry extract, lemon extract, scrub, fresh scrubberry that's back here in this bag. <sighs> Pay attention to why I'm telling you I'm using fresh scrubberries. Um, but there's other things you can use too. We'll get into that in a few. You also have, uh, what's this? I got whole buttermilk. Not that low fat buttermilk, y'all. We got whole buttermilk. Got a fresh lemon, cream cheese, and scrubberry jelly and my unsalted butter that y'all cannot see. Again, written recipe ingredients will be done. But y'all, I just like Duncan Hines. So what I'm adding to the cake mix is the scrubberry milkshake pudding from Sonic. Now, here's the tea. Y'all can see this? Here's the tea with this. I only find this at Walmart. I can't find on Amazon. I can't find no place else. Only Walmart. So I grab three, four, five boxes of these at a time. If you can't find this, hold that thought. So I'm going to dump in the scrubberry milkshake pudding. If you cannot find the scrubberry milkshake pudding, then what I want you to do is when you go in with your cup of buttermilk, you are going to take some scrubberry nest quick powder. You know the powder that you make the kids scrubberry milk with? You're going to use that. If you don't have that, you can also take the scrubberry um, Hershey's, Hershey make it. It's called an ice cream topping syrup, but you make the scrubberry milk with it. You can take that and flavor your buttermilk. Um, I've even made it using scrubberry milk that you buy, but the only thing with the scrubberry milk that you buy is it's like 2%. I never find full fat and you want full fat for your cake. Okay? So you got more than one ways to get your scrubberry flavor in this cake. The pudding and the cake mix all combined before we start on the wet ingredients. How doing out there? I, again, I thank y'all for the love, baby. With our fake bacon and all that and... Girl, listen, my co-worker say, why you saying scrubberry with a kid? Baby, I don't know, baby. That's, that's, that's just how I roll. Okay, so we got that all combined, right? So next, we're going to go in with what I want to do next. I'm going to go in with my wet, which is going to be one cup of your full-fat buttermilk. Now, you can make this with regular whole milk, too. You can make it with half and half or heavy. I wouldn't so do one cup of buttermilk in there. Remember when it comes down to buttermilk, buttermilk got that tang. Buttermilk is going to, buttermilk and heavy cream turns your cake into pound cake consistency. So next to my buttermilk mixture, I have cream cheese. If you have the scrubberry flavor cream cheese, perfect. I wasn't going out to buy it, so I'm going to use what I have. On my cream cheese, I like to use the measurements, y'all. So you got your one, two, this is your three ounces. I want to give myself three ounces of the scrubberry, not scrubberry, Keep regular in mind, cream all cheese. all ingredients, room temperature. When it's like that, your cream cheese and stuff will just slide out. It makes everything easier. It makes for more level baking. Um, and, you know, cold, cold items you have to whip more. And you could possibly over mix and over whip. Is there such thing as over mixing a box cake mix? That is going to be a yeah. I have our unsalted butter. I have my third cup measurement. You're going to hit it with a third cup twice, aka two fourths unsalted butter. Um, if you don't have unsalted, go ahead and use the, um, the third cup regular vegetable oil, okay? But to me, the butter makes it better. And not parquet, not margarine, not country crop. Y'all, I'm going to be real honest. Margarine, I don't even buy. Like, it's so synthetic-y. I, I don't know why nobody buying it. You know, back in the day, 
your mama couldn't afford but she had blue bonnet and all that but then this baby it's just some things change when you become an adult now i ain't telling y'all i don't got no parquet bowls or no country crop bowls around here i heat up food and in garlic butter i use it i store my garlic man that's another story for another day but y'all so the melted butter is in the cream cheese the buttermilk to the cake mix we're going to give a quick mix my blender my blender my mixer goes from one to six i'm going to blend this on two i had to get my items somewhat well incorporated because when i drop my eggs in i do not want to over mix this will be looking like right now, and that's okay. That cream cheese and stuff is already broken down inside of there. And yeah, the quick version of this is going to be on TikTok, of course. But extended version here, written recipe, all that will be over here on YouTube. So now what I'm going to do is, if this was, okay. So I went to the store, and they had a special on, okay, on jumbo eggs, right? I normally do large but what and I do large I do four right but these jumbles so I'm gonna go three if you have large eggs use four it's very important to follow my measurements because there's a difference between a moist cake and a mushy cake y'all bacon is still a science although we fake bacon when it comes to that butter and that buttermilk and that cream and stuff you have to be on the money so for the OCD people out there I'm cracking it one by one and I'm gonna dump it in now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna mix just a little bit just to break the yolk that on big. each one big <laughs> every yolk I break I'm going to add something okay so right now I have the vanilla bean paste the same a vanilla cake but we know vanilla extract heightens just a drop we just we want just a drop again the same a vanilla cake the same like the vanilla pound which a lot of y'all have made and I am like okay okay I have a little bit of lemon here although I'm gonna hit it with a fresh lemon juice I got these ingredients so it won't hurt strawberry and lemon goes phenomenal a to two in there plus the extracts stop scrape the bowl baby you know how we do scrape the bowl get the bottom get the side all that so along with egg three I have some strawberry extract and I'm going to drop a few of that in there. Now, if you don't have that, that is fine. Um, most people do have lemon and vanilla. That is fine. I'm just using the strawberry because I have it, okay? So, remember, I always... Somebody asked me to do the strawberry cheesecake cake or something. I was like, I have another way of doing it. But I try to keep my cakes affordable. When you get into the cheesecake layer, the cake layer, the that and that, that can get kind of expensive. So y'all, this is what my batter is looking like now. My dish towel is damp, and that's to keep your bowl from shifting on you as you mix them. Hit me out. I have strawberry jelly in my house. So the great strawberry debate. Uh, I normally do both because I normally catch them on sale, and Smuckers always have a coupon. I'm gonna tell y'all keep I coop, but y'all know. Okay, if you're in the store and you have to pick, look at the pictures I'm putting beside me or look at the top of the screen, y'all. Smuckers make a strawberry ice cream topping in the jar, in the glass jar. You could go in with your strawberry jelly. You also could use the strawberry, um, like I said, that the syrup form that you put in the milk. A cup just so give it like two squirt. globs of it and you can see how it look we just infuse in flavor two globs of it nothing more nothing less and I'm going to fold this into the mix reason why I don't want any more because again watch your wet ratio because you don't want a mushy cake so I fold that in Onto the star. Right, so in this bowl behind me, these fresh strawberries here, I chopped up some time ago and put in my freezer because I caught strawberries on sale. Relatively, I'll make this cake with the strawberries in its natural syrup that comes in the container like this. In most grocery stores, it is frozen. Okay. However, those that container can run you four dollars and up hear me out 
if I'm just doing one kick or just for the sake of the video, I'm not going to buy it. If I had it on hand and I used it for something, chances are I'm going to drop it in my deep freeze until I'm ready to do it again. And I don't have any. Again, we're keeping it affordable. This is very important to what I'm saying. I have my Vitamix over there. I'm going to puree this down. And I want to come back with a half a cup of it. Scrubberries are one of those fruit that get very mushy. And I'm a very textural person. Whole scrubberries and big pieces like this in the cake will not hold up well. It is going to break your cake down to like it's only going to be fresh and good for two days. So you want to puree this down. The same thing with any acidic fruit like pineapple or whatnot. You want to break it down. Again, you don't really have to pulse it all the way down to like baby food texture. You can have consistency. You can have some texture in there. You just don't want big chunks. Again, if you had the one in its natural juices, right, one, use that, use that. But you still want to chop it up, take your spoon, knock it down. You don't want big pieces. If you have a bag of frozen scrubberries like the ones the grocery store already made, blend it down. Use that. If you have fresh, use that. I'm going to give myself a third cup of this. Only a third. What I have left over, we're going to reserve for... When we ice the cake. The fresh strawberry purees look like sitting in the cake. Now we're going to hit it with some lemon zest. Lemon heightens everything. Put a certain freshness to a cake. Because I want to fold this in because I want the freshness. If I was to hit that with the mixer, then your zest could get wrapped up in the beater. And I don't want that. So I'm folding this in. And when you fold, you fold from the bottom and you scoop in. Because you want to still see like the ribbons. Let me see if I can turn this. The ribbons of scrubberry throughout your cake, babies. A lot of people say, well, my cake never come out right. In my pan, my Nordic pan is heavy. This is butter, butter flavor spray from Aldi's. Sometimes I butter and flour, depending on if I feel like it. If y'all can tell I do things, I do shit if I feel like it. Um, Baker's Joy, if I had it, I don't. Cool, I don't. Cake still come out superb. So let's get this poured in. The oven's at 350. It's ready to go. Guess what? Y'all let me forget to hit it with a little squeeze of lemon juice. So I'm going to just cut this, get a little fresh squeeze in, and then put it in the oven. 